Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our last break of the night. It's going to be 2020 Panini Absolute Football 6 box inner case. Pick your team number 10. And a big thank you to all of these wonderful people for getting into the action. There was a nice little late night rally. It was just kind of sitting at like 8 or 9 teams left all night until just recently. So thanks everyone for making this happen. Really appreciate it. Ryan Kaysen with that last spot mojo, Denver Broncos, little oppo Joe mojo as well as a Raiders fan. There it is, pick your team 10, 2020 Absolute Football. Let's do this. Two, four, and six right here. We're looking for some kabooms. We're looking for autographs, memorabilia cards, all sorts of fun stuff in absolute football. It's actually a pretty fun break. Um, here's a crazy football rule that I learned not too long ago because I think it happened in an NFL game and maybe in a college game in the last few weeks. I don't know how many of you, how many of you would know this rule just off me if you're like a ref or something. Like that. Under two minutes, if you fumble the ball, I think you have to be the one that recovers it. Otherwise, it's some kind of someone correct me and I, I'm saying this wrong, but. It's something like that. Someone explain this rule here. Under two minutes, if, you, if you're an offensive player that fumbles the ball, you have to be the one that recovers it. If someone else recovers it, I forget what happens. Something happens. If someone else recovers it, then it's, it's a penalty. I, I don't know what happens. But you can't, you can't do that. Isn't that wild? To, right, right. No one can recover it to advance it. There you go. No one, unless it's you. So it goes. So right. So if if I fumble it, if I if I'm rushing it, and I fumble it, and Pat comes in and gets it, he can't he can't advance it. But under a certain time, yeah. So that was that was wild. I, I didn't realize. Didn't learn that. Learn something new every day, folks. Learn something new every day. Here's A.J. Dillon. I think uh, Juan wanted the A.J. Dillon, didn't you? Request accepted. Not denied. 37 out of 75, A.J. Dillon, rookie, jersey, and autograph. Hold on to that. Maybe he goes off in the playoffs. There's David Johnson. Right, then you start, exactly, Pat, then you start thinking of why would that rule even be in place, and then Pat saying that must have been like an old trick back in the day, and they had to make a rule for it. There's Van Jefferson to 75 for the Rams. That's going to be for Kurt Disser. First pack, Juan, you can go to bed now. <laughs> and there's Jonathan Taylor to 199, War Room Relic for the Blue Horseshoes. That goes to Alifonso. There's Terry McLaurin to 75. Wait, so Joseph, it, it it's only on fourth down situation too, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think there's a special, like, what a random rule. Like, you got to, sometimes, you, I, I know refs screw things up a lot. There's Jalen Johnson to 149 Bears, Jeremy Harder. Right, fourth down and under two minutes. Refs have to remember this. There's a dual relic, Michael Hardman to 99. I don't know if this is still true, but I think at one point, a majority of refs have some sort of legal background. They were either practicing lawyers or they have gone to law school, but were not practicing, practicing lawyers or something like that. That dual relic goes to the Chiefs, Diane, with that one. Because you, I mean, just to be able to know the rules, just memorize the rules, and uh, 
and then be able to adjudicate the rule. Uh, and you have to kind of know when is this... When is this... Uh, at what point does a normal football play become a hold? Right? Because everyone holds, right? There's the old argument. If you called every... You can call hold every single play, but you, you really can't under the spirit of the game. So at what point in a split second do you decide that activity is not within the spirit of a game? That's holding... Number 75, on the offense, five yard penalty, repeat first down. Or is that a loss of down? See, I can't be a ref. So, 10 yard teeth. Sometimes, sometimes you, sometimes you, I don't know rules. I'm not going to be a ref anytime soon. What is everyone's favorite referee signal? There's the 199, Darrell Taylor. And there's Denzel Mims. Quad relic and autograph. 32 out of 75. Maybe the, the, is there a, there has to be like some kind of tripping penalty or something like that, right? I feel like that always cracks me up because the ref just kind of, you can't see it, but he just kind of kicks out his leg. <laughs> There's Denzel Mims to the Jets, Patrick Davis. And there's Ben DiNucci. I think in, in NBA, I feel like the uh, the blocking foul, the blocking. That's I think that's the blocking signal in NBA, right? The blocking signal always that kind of cracks me up too. Especially when refs do it with uh, with such gusto. To 75, 55 at 75, Clyde edwards Elaire. That goes to Diane and the Kansas City Chiefs. Nice autograph there. C.D. Lamb, War Room Relic for Dallas. That's going to go to Jonathan Peets. <laughs> Giving him the business foul. Actually, NBA refs can be pretty can be pretty fun. I've seen some like I've seen some refs g tee up some guys pretty well. I need a I need a good tee motion. You know, if I'm if, if I'm going to tee up somebody. There's Anthony Gordon, 35 out of 50, but a good energetic T is always is always fun. <laughs> Brent, what's going on? Happy New Year. I enjoy every signal against the Vikings, especially after they blow that stupid horn. That, that horn sounds like it'd be terrifying. I'd be scared. Seattle, uh, that's for Joshua B. And some Chubb, Bradley Chubb, some big Chubb right here. 92 out of 99 for Denver. That's for Ryan Kaysen. And the Denver Broncos last spot mojo. What kind of horns just sound. That Viking horn sounds terrifying. It's it sounds like uh you know what it sounds like when uh was it uh was it Boromir in Lord of the Rings? He was like he was signaling that the Urukai were coming. It's like <laughs> and that's what I think of. It's like, oh, are there there are there Urukai coming to uh to 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 cut me down? In the chase of the, uh, in the chase of the one ring, there's Juju Smith Schuster to fifty. So, that's what it makes me think of. Where's the Rurikai? I, I did not. Some like, I think Jack mentioned that earlier. He said that someone was someone tested positive for COVID before the game. Or after the game, and now all the 76ers have to quarantine in New York? Right, right, right. Seth Curry's t tested positive. 
So now what? What, uh, what is, do the Sixers have to stay in their hotel rooms for like a week? Yeah, that's that's yeah. It was Jack. I know. I, I said it was Jack said that he did. There's Kyle Duggar autograph for the Patriots to 149. That'll be for Karen and her Pats. I guess, I guess the NFL will have to figure it out. There's Hein Ward, Heinz Ward, Canton Absolutes to 199. That'll be for Pittsburgh. That's going to go to Justin Ward and the Steelers. And there's T. Higgins to 100. There's Brandon Ayuk to 199. A redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? And Ryan Tannehill to 50. Let's see how him and the Titans do this weekend. Should be exciting to see. We got David Tyree, signature standout. That's not the photo I would have used of David Tyree to 99. No one wants to see David. Christopher Lord, if Christopher Lord's like, if I'm getting a David Tyree autograph, that better have that picture in the Super Bowl. Right? David Tyree knows what he's David Tyreeing for. David Tyree knows why he's famous now. Keyshawn Vaughn to 199. That'll be for the Buccaneers. We'll see him this weekend too, Richard, with the Bucks. Red Zone DJ Chark to 50. DJ Chark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, Cascades guessing Justin Jefferson. It's going to be. Focus. Chase Young, rookie, premier, materials, autographs. Matt McLaughlin with the Washington football team. And a free top loader, Matt. All right, we are halfway through this six box inner case break. Pick your team 10. This is the last break of the night, folks. There, I don't know. I don't think anything else is sold out or was close to, but... Anything else that has sold out, we will do tomorrow. I'll be back at 1 o'clock Pacific, 4 o'clock Eastern on a Friday. We're starting off with two eminence breaks, by the way. And then we'll do whatever else had sold out tonight. Those eminence breaks sold out before any of tonight's breaks. And they're already on the docket on the break schedule. Check it out. Next one, good luck. I wonder what that NBA protocol is now. They just do they just keep them in a hotel for I guess maybe if they test negative they can continue to travel, but you know, that can incubate for a little bit for a few you know, I don't know. Tough, tough decisions. There's Clavon Chasen to one ninety nine and Denzel Mims. Triple relic and autograph, another one for the Jets, another one for Patrick Davis. Jack, have I ever experienced an earthquake? Yes, many earthquakes. I've lived in Southern California nearly my entire life. There's Chase Claypool for the Steelers for Justin. And we've got Steven Montez for Washington. That's to 199. No, no. Thankfully, I've not, I've not been through any, any bad ones. You know, I lived in Southern California during. Um, I was. There were, uh, maybe a couple major. The Northridge earthquake in the '90s, like I felt where I lived, pretty strong. You know, in, enough to close down the schools, and I was maybe about, hundred miles away from that earthquake. That was a pretty strong, but no, there was no 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 damage or anything like that. Joey Bosa quadrat goes to the Chargers. Jonathan Peets. There's Josh Jacobs, 
Stargazing, five out of five. Josh, disappointed. I'm sure he's disappointed himself for the DUI. That's not cool. Come on, man. You know better. Robert Runkle on the Raiders. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. He knows better. Oh, that's true. Logan, Logan remembers a few years back in our old store, I mean, three or four years back, there was actually an earthquake in the shop. Like it was, it was just off the just off the coast of LA or something like that. There was an earthquake. There's D Rob, Demarcus Robinson, nine out of ten, dual relic and autograph. That's a cool looking one. Piece of the pigskin in there for the Chiefs, Diane. Um, if you remember, it was during a there was a, it was during the summer. There was baseball happening, so at Dodger Stadium, you can see like let's say this is the center field camera right, and there there's like the pitching mound right there, and the, the batters right there. Like the, you can see the camera shake. And then some of the players come out into the field being like, is that an earthquake? They said it was kind of freaky. There's Baker Mayfield, nine out of 60. Sean, no, Sean, Sean did not, I didn't even, Sean didn't even exist back then when that happened. That was, it was at the old store. And uh, I, w I was breaking, and I didn't think anything happened because at the old store, it was a office complex that also had storage units behind our building and stuff. And so cars, and, and we were kind of near like this this sort of circular thing that takes you up the different levels of the storage, the storage units. And like people, like big trucks would just rumble and roll around that at, at probably really high speeds, and that would rattle... That would rattle the entire um, the entire building. So at, in the early months of being in that store, we thought every second there was an earthquake every time a truck rolled by. But we just got immune to it after, at that point because we just thought it was always like a truck. So we got immune to it. And then one time it was actually an earthquake. And I think Nick came on in the in the chat, and Nick was like, and Nick was like, "Did you feel that earthquake?" And I was like, "That was an earthquake." <laughs> it felt a little different, but. There was maybe a little more rumbling underneath my feet. It felt a little different. But um, but yeah, that, that was, I think it was, it was a decent quake, maybe a 3.7, maybe close to a 4. Oh, Sean was, oh, the, so Teddy and Sean had, oh, there was an earthquake right before your break with Teddy last year on IG, and Sean was on his stream. He had an earthquake too? Sean, Sean never mentioned that to me. But anyhow, yeah. So there, there's been earthquakes, Jack, and it's kind of it's kind of a thing out here. Kind of a thing out here. Shake, rattle, and roll. I'm sure our building's fine. We uh, were retrofitted for an earthquake. The thing I remember though, I was, I was I was watching the Dodgers game and like to see that the TV cameras shake up and down. I guess it was a decent sized quake. I forget how big it was now that I think about it. Big enough to get all the way to downtown LA? There's Kenneth Murray. There's records of it. Antonio Gandhi Golden out of 399. I'm sure someday they'll be oh, okay. Tonight no. Uh, you saved yourself from a from a snarky response Logan caused her. Logan knows better. Logan realized, oh, I have to say tonight. Otherwise, otherwise Joe's going to be like, well, someday we'll get Dynasty. <laughs> Some point. No, yeah, we, we, we ran through the few cases we had tonight. But, you know, we, you know us, Logan. We're always on the lookout for stuff like that. Keenan, Keenan Allen, 25 for the Chargers. And we've got 28 out of 49, Michael Pittman Jr. Colts, Alifonso. And then we've got Anthony McFarlane Jr., 42 out of 49, War Room, two-color patch, going to Pittsburgh, Justin Ward. And there's Mosley and Keenan Allen. We got Jalen Hurts to 100, introductions, insert. 
That'll go to Philadelphia. It goes to Jonathan Pete. What you got? Yeder Gross Matos. 40 out of 75. I'm a man. I'm 40. That goes to the Panthers. That will be Brian and Carolina. I think Carolina's record really didn't reflect how well they played at times this season. Behind that group of two cards right there, Air Raid, Dwayne Haskins. Where does Haskins go? 133 out of one. Who picks up Dwayne Haskins? I guess I'll wait for his contract to expire or whatever. No one wants to take on that contract, obviously. Wait till that's off the books, and then who picks him up? I'm sure he's cleared waivers by now. Daniel thinks CFL. Uh-oh. King saying, I never get anything good with Absolute done with this product. We're not done yet. We got, we got three mini boxes to go. Dwayne Haskins CFL. That could be interesting. Maybe marinate a little bit in the CFL. All right, there's Antonio. Uh, nope, Anthony Gordon to 75. There's always, I feel like everyone has a break that's just no good for them. There's James Morgan to 399. Everyone has like that one product where, you know, they 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 want to get, they like it, but they never hit in it. And they're like, forget it. So you know Benjamin for the Cardinals to 199. Jonathan Taylor to 50. And we've got, look at that, 5 out of 25 absolute heroes, Tim Tebow. Goes to Ryan Case and Last Spot Mojo, Denver Broncos. We done opening Immaculate Soccer. We've never even started. Golden Bear. There's TJ Hawkinson. Dual relic, that's kind of a, what is that? Some raised lettering there or something like that? That's pretty cool. 7 out of 49, TJ Hawkinson. Lions, that'll go to Tony. Yeah, Immaculate Soccer doesn't drop until tomorrow, by the way. I'm not sure if that's going to end up on the personal break side, at Jaspi's Breaks on Instagram, or if it's going to end up, or if we're going to get cases on the YouTube side as well, but keep an eye on them on both spots. Jaspi'sCaseBreaks.com and Jaspi's.com. Tony with the Lions gets that dual relic. We've got 3 out of 25, Jerry Rice, fantasy flashback. Let's, let's see. And behind Debo, we've got Willis McGahey. Signature standouts. King, you're done with breaks after National... Well, hopefully we'll have to get you something huge in National Treasures Baseball to bring you back. That's what I'm hoping. Anyway, there's Debo. It's Joey Bosa. And behind the Joey Bosa is a dual relic. Gardner Minshew, Leonard Fournette, team tandem to 199. Jaguars, Alifonso Mendoza with that one. Thanks for getting in. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate everybody getting in, whether you hit or not. Thanks for giving this a go. This was six box, inner case, pick your team number 10, 2020 Panini Absolute Football. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock Pacific, 4 o'clock Eastern. Bye-bye. Jason Jaspi still live on Instagram, at Jaspi's Breaks Instagram Live.